The Integrated Math 1 practice test for TN Ready, question number 24 on the 2019-20 test. Um, this is a question that's been on an old test, but the last version that I filmed for this was, I mean, the audio is hot garbage, so I figured I'd do it again. The owner of a gas station recorded the gallons of gas sold in the amount of precipitation each day for one month. The data and the line of best fit are graphed on this scatter plot. And we want to know the correlation coefficient. So correlation shows how two things are related, at least in this case, it's linear correlation. So if we see that one goes up and the other goes up, we look at that as a positive correlation. If one goes down and the other goes down, positive correlation. It means that they do the same thing. Now, if one goes up and the other one goes down, ud. Uh, it is a whole other thing. Up, down. We look at that as a negative correlation. As you can see, as the precipitation increases in inches, the gallons of gas sold goes down. So we know that this is a negative correlation. Positive correlation would be plus because they'd be doing the same thing. As this goes up, this should go up. Nope. As this goes down, this should go. Nope. Doesn't work that way. This goes up. This goes down down in value so we know it's a negative correlation so we can mark all these off the other part of it is the value with it so in this it's negative it's either going to be negative 0.93 or negative 0.07 so plus one and minus one would mean that they are completely positive relationships minus one would mean they're completely positive or sorry completely in sync negative relationships so as one increases here the other one increases in the same relative amount in this one when one decreases the other increases at the same relative amount so a negative one correlation means you'd almost have a straight line like all the dots would just line up for positive a negative they'd be like this once you get below a certain amount so say you get to 0 0.5 it's not going to look nearly as much like a line as this one so say it's plus 0.5, it'd start to look like this. 0.1 is all over the place. You, there's almost no um, real correlation to that at all. Zero means there's no correlation. So we have to look to see, okay, do we think this is closer to a line, which would give us a 0.93, or it looks like just nonsense all over the place? Well, this is pretty close. See how the line, there, a lot of the points are really distributed around it nicely that's other than you have a few dead weights over here but we all have a few dead weights in our lives right so outside of that everybody else is kind of lining up the way we want them to so that's much closer to a one than a zero so i can say it's negative 0.93 now if this thing had been all over the place you're like there's nothing related at all it's just a mess that would be this 0.07 so line Look for a number closer to 1 than to 0. If it's all over the place, look for a number closer to 0. If they go up or down together, so it goes up like this, or I can't imagine you have a graph where the x value is going down, but it's possible, I suppose. Um, but if they're going up, it's a positive correlation, so you look for a plus. If it's going down like this one, it's negative. The answer number 24 is A.